Um, okay. It's, it's mail, mail time. Um. Hey. Uh. Man, the back half of January really caught up with me. Uh. This one. We'll start with this one. Just got back from PAX South. And I have a little bit of the, the PAX box, so uh, if I sound slightly stuffed up, that's why. Now this box says something about Star Wars, but I think this box is just being used for packaging. Uh, I could be wrong. Wow, what is this? Millennium Blades storage kit. There is no note with this. It looks like it's a, a wooden box for storing magic cards, or cards, anyway. That looks really cool. I, I don't know who who this is from. Thanks, Graham. It says, "I, you're you're welcome." Well, thank you. We will have to put that together. What is this? Hello, LRR. Probably Graham. Correct. I'll try to keep this letter short and simple because I'm sure that you what I'm sure that you have heard what I will say many many times. I cannot physically express using the English language how much I appreciate what you guys do and how you do it. Well, I think you made a pretty good shot at it there. My Magic Playgroup, Mons MTG, and I have put together this box of stuff for you guys from the good old 14th American state of Vermont. That's right, more than cows and trees live here. I... I know a little bit about Vermont. Must be nice that time of year, all that snow. It's referenced to... White Christmas. Uh, I was introduced to you guys through my friend who showed me Friday nights. Fell in love with you guys almost immediately. Again, we appreciate everything you guys have done, but I feel bad writing you such a long letter, so here is what is in the reused box of wonder. All right. A hat from the Penguin Plunge, a charity event where many people like me jump into a freezing lake in the middle of winter for the Special Olympics. Oh. We have a similar thing here called the Polar Bear Swim. But it's not for charity, it's just because people are stupid. I can't find the hat, we'll get to the hat. A promo Hedron alignment, best damn pre-release promo ever. A Mons Goblin Raider signed by all the people who were at my house the day I wrote this. My own very strictly worse cube. What? There's a whole cube in here? Holy crap. Oh wow. Thanks Mons MTG group. Mons Goblin Raiders from a starter. Got a dubious challenge. I think that's what they meant. Best damn promo ever. Best damn card ever. Super playable. A promo Dungrove Elder. That might be going in my Tree Folk deck. Oh, that's an altered. Oh, that's gorgeous. I didn't even realize right away. I was like, there's no full art extended Dungrove Elder. But there is now. That's really pretty. And a pack of Prophecy. And it said, Do not open pack on TTC. Does that... I'm gonna open it now. It says prophecy, but it's also been taped up with, with tape, so I will open it now. Well, what have we here in this pack of prophecy? It's a charging badger, and 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 a charging badger, bump in the night, bump in the night, bump in the night, bump in the night, and a curd ape, and a foil loam lion, and an empty the warrens, and a dacon black blade, and a Geister Flugel. <laughs> what? It's empty the Warrens is all, always for a storm and a loom line and a and a deck on black blade and a Geister Flugel. That's one of the silliest packs of magic cards I think I've ever opened. Thank you very much, Ian and everyone at the Mons MTG Playgroup. Oh there's the there's the Hedron alignment. We found it. Alright, we got there. What else is what, what is this? What is this? Oh, what? It's a T60 Power Armor Funko Pop. I love the Fallout. I'm gonna have to find space on the shelf for that guy. Alright, where's this hat? Oh, there it is. Wow, that is garish in color. The Penguin Plunge. Terrific. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Uh, this? Sure, this. What the? What on earth? Dear Lodi Ready Run, I found you guys on YouTube a few, few years back from your Friday night series and slowly the rest of your guys' content began to grow on me. I love the crap shots, feed dump, and listen to all your podcasts, which got me interested in both Magnum PI and the WWE. I was sad to see Fight the Future go, but I'm excited for the Magnum rewatch to return, which it will. Also, if Corrector's commentary ever comes back, keep up the great work. I found this hat at Ikea and thought you guys might enjoy it from Dean. 
A snail? I think it's a snail hat? That's amazing. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a snail. Wow, alright, I'm gonna leave this in the package so that uh, it has the note with it for Kathleen when she opens this on, on, on feed dump. This one. Oh no. Oh no. Greetings to everyone at LRR. I found this gem at the bargain bin at my local game store. I thought it would make for a funny crack-a-pack. There are two practice decks and I believe two boosters in there. It's a nice bit of magic history and even includes a CD-ROM for installing magic online. There's some very nice words here from Booster6 in the chat, aka Greg. Thank you, Booster6. This is the uh, ninth edition magic core game that uh, if you have the It's Magic DVD with the first miniseries of Friday Night Song, we actually opened this up and played one of these. Uh, it comes with two, like, stacked decks that you are not supposed to shuffle and play through a game. So one of the players is gonna lose. And, uh, yeah. But it also comes with a promo Sarah Angel, and only foil promos in 9th edition were Black Border, so it's this, like, weird... Black Border promo Sarah Angel that's pretty cool. System requirements, Windows 98, 2000 ME or XP, uh, Pentium 3, 400 MHz, 128 MB RAM, 150 MB free hard drive space, a video card able to handle 800 by 600 pixels, a 4 times CD-ROM drive, and a sound card. Oh, and a two-button mouse. Oh, that's just for the CD. Magic Online also needs DirectX 3, an internet connection 56K or better, and a web browser that supports SSL encryption. And high color settings. Jesus. Okay, had to go and do a watch and play, but we're back now. Where, what are we at? What's this? This is addressed to me from, from Buried Without Ceremony? Oh! Shit, I know what this is. This is, this is a game. This is a very fun game. Well, fun. It's a very good game. Uh, and if, uh, I don't recall the name of it. It is called, right, The Quiet Year. A map game about community and struggle. And uh, I remember playing this while we were shooting Tabletop Deathmatch Season 2, and uh, this was like Max Temkin's favorite game of Gen Con that year, and he got he got mad at us because we, we weren't taking it seriously. Well, we, we determined that our like resources were like gummy bears and pictures of the Backstreet Boys or something. It, it's, it's a very, very good game. It comes, it's like cards and this booklet and a bunch of um, dice and skulls. Um, so yeah, someone said they were gonna send us this. And I don't recall who that was. Um, but thank you. And uh, maybe this will, uh, maybe this will come up on stream. So cheers. Okay, what, what is this? Is it? This is more, hang on. Oh, what? This is a wrapped present. Where'd my knife I gotta stop dropping my knife. Always read the card first. Dear Loading Ready Run, most likely Graham as you do the mail time videos. Greetings. I am gonna get all the fan gratefulness and gushing out of the way before I explain the intriguing wrapped gift before you. Just wanted to thank you for all your work. Your magic content helped me get several of my friends back into magic. Your streams provided me with many hours of entertainment. Sidewalk Slam has not only been very engaging, but has also made me so enthusiastic about wrestling that I've bought merchandise without actually having watched any wrestling yet. Though I hope to go to the Royal Rumble when I'm at PAX South as an enforcer. I hope that you got to do that, because it was a fun, a fun show. Okay, a little... there's a story here, hang on. I was visiting a grandparent in New Jersey and happened upon a board game store called Tiki Tiki Board Games. The most interesting characteristic of the store was that in addition to carrying new board games, they also buy and sell used board games and components at nice prices. Perhaps predictively, most of it is old Milton Bradley Parker Brothers style family games that people wanted to clear out of their closet. Still, it made me wonder, do they have any of the Atmosphere games? They did not. However, I think you'll agree that what I did find is much more amusing. You can go ahead and set down the letter now and open your gift before continuing. This is like a choose your own adventure. To open your present with your six Star Wars wrapping paper, turn to page five. Hold the fuck up. What? What is this? What is this? Okay, what? As far as I can tell, the VCR part of this game only comes into play when someone draws a VCR card. You then watch a random clip of a random play from a hockey game, and the outcome of that play determines if you can try to flick a puck into a goal or something. I really only skimmed the rules. Do note the part of the plastic insert can be punched out to make these goals. I don't expect this to ever get played, mind you. I doubt anyone 
rip this video, put it on YouTube. I'm not entirely sure it would be entertaining enough to watch the VCR hockey game. Still, I think you can agree it was worth the $8 price tag just for the joke. What in the... What on earth? You would think, as a Canadian, that I would have heard of this, but no, I've never heard of this. That's it? It's just... Look at the little goalie. <laughs> little goalie. He sits, in, he sits in front of the net. Look at him. He's like, no, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop your puck. I'm the goalie. Game Concept, 1987, Interactive VCR Games, Inc. All other materials, copyright, the National Hockey League. Well, I mean, if it's on YouTube, we might give it a shot. Thank you, Josh. This is bizarre. All right, what is this? What is this? This feels and looks like another tabletop game. Millennium Blades, CCG simulator card game. Hang on. What is the... Two, two to five players, two hours to play it. Intensity, high. It's a high intensity game. Millennium Blades, a, a board game about collectible card games and the gamers who play them. Are you making fun of us? It's a board game about a fictional card game which is also called Millennium Blades. It looks very Yu-Gi-Oh. You begin uh, the game on pre-release night just with your starter deck. You'll open new packs, form collections, and sell your junk cards on the aftermarket to buy hot new cards. This is, this, I, it's, it's too real, man. Go from starter decks to world champion in just two hours. Wow. This is a high concept tabletop game. I'm glad that we're planning on adding more AFK streams because we have so many games. That's amazing. Oh, this was from PM Avers. Well, thank you, PM Avers. Still feels like you're making fun of us, just a little. All right, home stretch. What is this? Hi, everyone. There's a note in here, as in the box, about the contents, but since the parcel got returned, I decided to take the opportunity to write a bit more. I've been watching LRR videos since the Escapist days, and I've enjoyed them for years. I particularly love TTC and Feed Dump. The most recent of your videos, I started to watch the Sidewalk Slam. Hasn't made me start watch wrestling directly, but I'm now watching your different wrestling review YouTube shows, so thanks for that. You were the first, and therefore take the blame. Tom Pearson, Northampton, Uck. Well, thank you, Tom Pearson, Northampton, Uck. I, I know that this got bounced back to you, and you had to resend it, and so I'm... Glad that it is finally here, and I'm excited to see its contents. Hi, LRR. I've been meaning to send you a hat for a while, so I have. Since I was posting it anyway, I thought I'd add another few treats, a few boosters for the vast amount of crack pack fodder, a selection of old weird random cool picks from my rares folders, and some UK chocolate that you may or may not be familiar with, but which I hope you'll enjoy either way. Thanks for all you do. Tom Pearson, Northampton, England, which I guess is your brother, the brother of Tom Pearson, Northampton, Uck. What in God's name? What is this? Well, it's on my head now. All right, let's see what you got going on in here. Ooh. Maltesers, very nice. Terry's chocolate orange, but like actually the from England kind. So that's delicious. Crunchy, get that Friday feeling. It's is Crunchy Bars generally associated with Friday? I didn't... I didn't know that. Nestle Toffee Crisp. These you can't get here. Flake also you can't get here. Oh, I mean, I say you can't... There's like British sweet shops in town here that you can sort of get some of these from. But. Teasers. Maltesers teasers, as opposed to Maltesers. These are Maltesers teasers. If you don't want the Malteser, you just want, you want the taste of a Malteser in a chocolate bar form. You get Maltesers teasers. I don't know, man. And, ooh. Just straight up Cadbury Dairy Milk, but notably from England, where they make the chocolate better. Seriously, Cadbury chocolate in England is delicious, and in North America it is not great. And a pack of Kaladesh, a pack of Conspiracy, a pack of Modern Masters 2015, and a pack... Also, shoutouts to Tom for, uh, for labeling these in advance, to save me the trouble. Well, what's in here? I don't want to injure whatever's inside this. Oh man, what the? It's like a bunch of weird old magic cards. But also some new stuff. Well, a couple new ones. 
Holy, wait a minute. Wow. Ooh. Hey there. Some spicy stuff in here. And amulet of clothes. Remove amulet of clothes from your deck before playing if you're not playing for ante. Zero tap, sacrifice amulet of clothes, flip a coin. Target opponent calls out of tails. If the flip ends up in your favor, that opponent loses the game. Otherwise, you lose the game. Affects the prevent. Oh, what a terrible card. Some of these cards are really bad. Like, what is this? 80s photo shoot says reverse damage. Crazy. Well, thank you. I will uh, distribute those amongst the crew. And finally, for this edition of Mail Time, I think. Something hiding, is there? It's kind of hard to see with these legs in my face. There's a bunch of stuff in here that's like individually wrapped. Dear LRR, been a fan of yours since 2013, 2014 when I first saw Friday Nights. I decided to check out your, your, check out your YouTube channel and found all the great shows you guys had. Thank you. Uh, you also gave me a place to turn to for humor during a pretty awful school year. Anyway, enclosed are some belated holiday goodies, genuine made in the USA candy canes with some more adventurous flavors for the crew to try. Oh no. Also enclosed is an Xbox One wireless controller I was talking to Ian about on Twitter for Tinker Taylor. Well, I believe I told him it has a non-functioning L-stick. I misspoke. And the problem with the L-stick is it is constantly registered as moving up or forward. Thank you from Daniel, the number two in chat. Thank you so much. Now my question for you is, do you want the Maltesers or do you want the Maltesers teasers? Okay, no los dos. Fair enough. There's so much paper. Here. Aha. Strawberry. Cinnamon. Cherry. I appreciate how delicately these were wrapped to avoid breaking in transit. Root beer. And an Xbox controller. I'll make sure they don't eat this one. Wow. Well, thanks everybody for the hats, magic cards, board games, and candy. It's all gonna get eaten. All, all the hats, magic cards, board games, and candy. We have digestion problem. For real though, thanks everybody. See you next month.